In this video, I'm going to show you how you can quit an app on an Apple Watch, as well as force quit an app with the Apple Watch. Maybe you're having a problem with an app, and what you want to do is you just want to restart it. How do you do that? Let's find out. Let's go over to my Apple Watch. Let's first look at how we shut down an app. We're not talking about force quitting it, we're just talking about shutting it down. How do we do that? Well, basically what we have to do is we have to go to our side button here, and when we press in our side button, by default, what it does is it shows us all of our recent apps. We just find the app that we want to shut down. So let's say I wanted to shut down the weather app. All I have to do is just swipe over on this, and when I do, you're gonna see an X, I tap on the X and it shuts down that app. Now, if you have your dock set up to show your favorites, we can actually set our dock. This is what happens when we press in our side button. It shows our dock. This is what I'm looking at here. My dock is set to show my recent applications. You can also have it set to show your favorite applications. When you have it set to show your favorite applications, it only shows you a few select apps. It doesn't show you all of your apps. So if you want to find an app that you want to shut down, you may have to change the side button here to show all of your recent apps. How do you do that? Well, we need to go to our settings app. So I'm going to press in on the digital crown, and then I press in on the digital crown again to get to all of my apps. I have it in list view. If you have it in grid view, what you'll need to do is tap and hold and switch it over to list view. This is my favorite view. So I'm gonna to go to list view again. And then I need to go to my settings. Basically, we're looking for our settings app. When we're in our settings here, what you're going to see is dock. And this is where we can set it for our recents or favorites. So if you have it set for favorites, what you may want to do is change it to recents and then you can see all of your recent applications and shut down the app that you want. Again, if it's in the favorites area here, if it's just showing your favorite apps, it's not going to show you all of your apps. So then you can't shut down a specific app because it's not showing you it. So you may need to do that. You can also do that on the watch app on the iPhone. I'm going to go to my watch app on the iPhone. And now what I need to do is I need to go to dock here. And when I tap on dock, just like on the Apple Watch, what I'm able to do is show either my favorites or recents. So what you'll want to do is tap on recents and then you can see all of your recent applications and then you can shut it down. Now let's say you have an app that you can't shut down. How can you force shut it down? Well, what you need to do is go back over to the Apple Watch. So I'm going to go back over to my Apple Watch. Now what we need to do is we need to open up that app. So what I'm going to do is press in on the side button here, and I'm going to go to Maps. What I would like to do is shut this down. I need to force shut it down. Maybe I can't shut it down, so I need to force shut it down. How do we do that? Well, basically what we need to do is we need to press in on the side button until we see our slide overs where we can shut it down. Once we see those slide overs, then what we do is we go to the digital crown and press that in until it quits. Now we do not want to press in on the side button too long because then you're gonna be calling emergency SOS. You'll see what I mean here. I'm going to demo it right now. So I'm gonna press in on the side button. Once I see those sliders, I'll go over to my digital crown. I'll press that in until it quits. So let's go ahead and do that. Press it in. Now I let go, I go to the digital crown, and that Maps app was just force quit. Again, we do not want to press in on our side button too long, because if you do, it's going to start that emergency SOS. So as soon as you see this screen, then what you do is go over to the digital crown, press and hold on that until you get back to your list of apps. When you do that, it will force quit the app that you were in. Now, if that doesn't work, what you may need to do is shut down the Apple Watch. To do that, all you have to do is just press and hold on the side button until you see the screen here. You go over to the power button 
and then you slide to power off. If that doesn't work, then what you can do is press in on the side button as well as the digital crown at the same time for 10 seconds, and then that will force start the Apple Watch itself. So we can shut down an app, then we can force quit an app, we can shut down the Apple Watch, and then we can force quit the Apple Watch. So that's how you can shut down an app and force quit an app on the Apple Watch.